Good morning, everyone. Uh, I don't know what day of Vlogmas this is, but it is 12.08. I'm going to a class at the gym. I'm doing that TRX class that I did in one of my last Vlogmases last week. Um, it is beautiful outside. No one would expect it to look like what I'm saying, but it is beautiful. I live right kind of in the mountains, sort of, and it's raining and it's gray and it looks like it's seven in the morning and it's 12.08. I let myself sleep in until like 11 today um, to rest my voice. So now I'm in my workout gear um, and I'm gonna do my TRX class. I probably gotta leave in just a couple minutes. So I'm gonna turn my little electric fireplace off or whatever that's called. Um, I packed my bag. I'm gonna wash my hair at the gym, so I need some hair products. Since it's raining, I will pack my Ghani rain boots. Hardly get to use these. I mean, I still wear them as normal boots, but I hardly get to wear them in the rain, so today's my chance. Got those from Nordstrom. This is barely fitting, but it's working. Um, okay. Do I have my phone? I don't know where I just put it. I'm gonna throw my jacket on. This one is by Lululemon. I love it so much. It's so warm and cuddly and it's reversible. What is wrong with me? Where did I just put my phone? I'm gonna eat a banana on the way because my trainer told me that I need to start eating before my workouts. And I'm gonna grab a protein bar for after on the way home. This is Power Crunch French Vanilla Cream from Trader Joe's. Really excited to try that. I'm ready to go. See you later, Mocher. Hello everyone, I'm back home um, from the gym. I showered, washed my hair, did it all. I stopped by Ralph's on the way home because I realized that I wanna make my um, curry beef and peas, but I didn't have white rice, and I love to eat it with white rice. So, white rice. So I got some white rice, I went to Ralph's. I also got some of the Martha Stewart ready to bake meals. I got the red wine braised short ribs, and it was buy one, get one free. So I got two of those. I just need more convenient food, so I feel good having that. I also got a Power Bowl. This is the chicken chicken sausage and barley by Healthy Choice. So excited to try that. Um, I also got beef broth because I forgot to get that and I need that to make my dish. I think I'm gonna make that right now and then maybe either take a nap or watch um, the new Sex and the City show. Because it came out today. Um, ah! Got some jasmine rice, the microwavable, because that's most convenient and that's the one that I, I really will reach for that. And then I'm trying a bunch of different yogurts. This is the Carb Master Keto Friendly by Kroger. I'm not keto, but you know, it's low sugar. Um, so I got two of the key limes, because I'm pretty sure I'll like these. I love citrus yogurt. Um, I got the Oikos Triple Zero, zero sugar or added sugar, zero artificial sweeteners, zero fat. Um, so. I'll try that, that's peach. I got another keto friendly ratio yogurt in black cherry, which I usually like cherry yogurt. And then I got the Light and Fit by Dannon Greek yogurt in toasted coconut vanilla. So hopefully I find one of those yogurts that I like um, to have a low sugar kind of breakfast or snack option. Um, I am going to turn on some nice music, maybe some Christmas music, and cook this meal. Um, I will leave the recipe down below, but I just kind of want to zone out and like do a little self-care moment of cooking for myself, so I'm not going to film it. Um, so I will show you when I'm done. All right, I made it. Yum, yum. Now I'm just microwaving some of that jasmine rice, and I'm going to have myself a little serving of this. Also, I need to clean up over here. I also have some lemon ginger tea steeping. Yum, yum. Okay, here we go. Got some white rice, added some green onions. I'm gonna have my um, tangerine and passion fruit kombucha. I really need to clean this table. And I got my tea, and I'm gonna watch something. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Sex in the City. Maybe I'll do that after work tonight, like on my TV. Oh, another day, another nap. It took like maybe an hour nap because um, I was feeling a little sleepy and 
all the sleep is the best thing for my voice. I say this all the time, but just want you to know that's why I'm sleeping all the time. Um, my lats are really sore and my glutes from working with my trainer and I'm happy about it because my glutes hardly ever get sore because I feel like with the way that I lift, because I never had done one-on-one -on -one training with a trainer, my form is good pretty much. But if you really know bodies, like if you're an actual trainer, I had things that I needed to shift. Um, to actually not hit my quads because I was like whenever I squat it was all quad heavy like it was all going to my quads and I thought it was just you know how I how I'm built but my trainer was like no we're gonna do this 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 think about this 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 it's exhausting it's like learning a new language but ugh, I'm sore and I'm happy about it um, I'm just packing my bag for the theater I think I have everything I have my makeup, coat because it's cold tonight. Um, I'll do my hair and my makeup at the theater. Thermos full of water. This one is a tea called Comfort and Joy. It's a black tea, so I have a little bit of caffeine. And I think I have everything else that I need, so yeah, I'm going to be on my way to the theater. I'm going to probably make it right at half hour. Hello. Um... What a night. It is 11.21. I just got to my car. We just finished the show. It was wild. We had about a one hour delay because in the middle of the first act, the fire alarm went off because I guess the fog or something tripped it, like turned it on, which doesn't make sense to me because that fog is like dry. It's not smoke. Anyway, I don't know. It's happened before. So the fire alarm went on, went off, whatever. We had to go outside. Then we had to come back inside and then they were figuring out whether we were going to go on with the show or not and it became like an hour long thing maybe over an hour so the show ran late tonight but um it was two people's birthday in our cast and crew so we had cake and sang to them and that whole thing and i started to get the sads man because sometimes like when my flow as an actor is interrupted by the fire alarm we had to go outside I was like back to my real life I started to get sad but I number one I think I need to be gentle with myself because it has been getting dark at 4 p.m. and that is really affecting me number two um, I need to remember that when I feel sad or uncomfortable emotions like loneliness or um, doubt or fear or anxiety uh, it doesn't mean that I need to fix them. Like my immediate instinct is to give myself a pep talk to get myself from feeling sad um, or to, you know, say you're above feeling like this or you shouldn't feel rejected, you shouldn't feel blah, 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 you shouldn't feel small or unloved or this or that um, because this, it's like I, I, I try to talk myself out of it, which is helpful, but not really because sometimes we just need to feel. So. Tonight, I kind of consciously just let myself feel. I feel like I want to have a good cry. I might not be able to because I'm like, now that I just got off of the show, I'm like, you know, in that zone. Um, but it was weird. It was kind of a weird show too because I feel like the audience was really fed up after like what happened. I feel like they were, they felt like obligated to stay and they were, I don't know. It was a weird energy. Um, so I'm gonna go home, walk Mochi. I think I might watch one episode of, and just like that, the Sex in the City thing. Maybe I'll cry on the way home, or maybe I'll listen to empowering music. Who really knows? But yeah, interesting Thursday night. Tomorrow I've got personal training. I'm so excited. I am so sore, like I said, in all these random areas, but I love it because that means I'm, <laughs> my money's worth it. Um, and I can't wait to see results after doing at least six weeks, three times a week with my trainer. So let's get home. Hello, uh, fresh out the gym, freshly showered. Look at my shoulders, okay. Um, today was a good day. Today was tough, she pushed me. We hit the glutes hard, it was good. Um, I am at Ralph's for the second day in a row because I wanna do some laundry today. I hate doing laundry, I hate it but I have to do it. My closet is exploding. It's full of clothes that need to be washed. So I'm almost out of detergent. So I'm gonna get detergent and I am out of bleach. So I'm gonna get bleach and then I'm gonna go home. So 
it's not that exciting, but technically that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, finished up at Ralph's. Um, and I got a little spicy salmon roll. So I'm gonna eat this in my car before I go home because I am really hungry. <laughs> Okay, so change of plans. I got home, I was sitting in my car, and I was like, let me just check bathandbodyworks.com because I smelled their fragrance, is it called Pure Wonder, the other day, and it is really good. And I was smelling myself all day because I sprayed it on, and I was like, oh man, I have to get that, but not when it's full price. I checked the website, online and in-store, all body care is $5.95, so I drove to the Galleria, parked in this bloodbath of a parking lot to go get some Bath and Body Works. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Hello everyone. Shoulders popping today. I'm back from the mall. Um, so I just have to say before I start, Isabella is my niece. Isabella, if you're watching this video, before Christmas, you need to fast forward through this part. So either click out of the video, is it too bright? Okay, so either click out of the video or close your eyes and like do the forward button for a couple minutes. I don't know, I think it's best that you just don't watch this video until Christmas because um, while I was at the mall, I got some things for Isabella for Christmas. And I really, 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 really don't want the surprise to be spoiled, okay, Isabella? So just maybe go to the next video. I don't know. Here's what I got. I'm gonna show you Bath & Body Works first. I have two bags. I got a ton of body sprays, but I will start with other things. So Vanilla Bean Noel Whipped Sugar Body Scrub. I got this because, first of all, it smells amazing. It smells like cookie dough, but also, it's actually pretty abrasive, it feels like. I tried it at the sink, and it's actually pretty scrubby. So I always love body scrubs. I have very dry skin. I have th hypothyroidism, so my skin is can be dry and flaky, so it's good to have that. Mochi, get up. Come here. Come here, dude. Don't go away. Come here. Okay, fine. Jeez, okay. Then I got two body lotions. I got Dark Kiss because I actually already have that body mist, fragrance mist, and I love it. And I wish it lasted a little bit longer or like I always wish that I just had the body lotion and I see they brought it out in stores again. So I bought that. And then I got Vanilla Mocha Cream. This is Cozy Cappuccino Vanilla Orchid White Tonka Bean. This just kind of smells like a more perfumey version of like um, I use, what's the brand? They make like a big thing of cocoa butter, uh, whatever. It's like the cocoa butter that you get, you can get everywhere. Um, this just smells like a more perfumey version of that and I really like it. I don't really like wearing like too many chocolatey scents, but that one it smells like cocoa butter, I'm cool with. Is this too light? I still think, there, I think that's a little bit better. Then I got the Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle Moisturizing Body Wash with Shea and Cocoa Butters. <sighs> it smells so good. Snickerdoodles are my favorite cookie. Well, like sugar cookies, snickerdoodles, that kind of sugar cookie base, I love. And ever since I was a kid, my mom knows I love snickerdoodles. So I've been really loving the Dove. Um, I think it's like vanilla and cocoa butter or cocoa. I don't know. It's some super, super creamy. Um, moisturizing body wash so instead of using gels during the winter I kind of want to keep with the moisturizing theme so yeah I'm gonna try this I've never tried this formula of their body wash so excited then I got two of the pure wonder um, antibacterial hand gels I figure I'll keep one and then give one to Isabella because I have a feeling she's gonna like this fragrance and then I got a Vanilla Bean Noel antibacterial hand spray. I want to keep one of these in my car. Um, okay, so for Isabella, my niece is 17, by the way. I know that she likes to wear um, a peach, Pretty as a Peach, I think, by Bath & Body Works. So I got her the Winter Peach Marshmallow Shower Gel and Fragrance Mist. Now, it's kind of a bummer because this is very, like, holiday packaging. So I hope she continues to use it 
you know, even past the holidays, because if I give it to her for Christmas, you know, it looks like December stuff, but hopefully she still uses it. I think she's gonna like it. The notes are Velvet Peach, Vanilla Meringue, and Creamy Jasmine. So I got her that set. Um, and then, uh, okay, so then the antibacterial thing. Then I got her um, a Pure Wonder Fine Fragrance Mist because I love this fragrance. That's the one I was talking about and I think she's gonna love it. It's Iced Rose, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. So good. So. That's gonna be her little gift set. And then the body mist that I got, I got a Pure Wonder for me, love this. Also, I feel like working in theater, fragrance mists and body mists and stuff are kind of the way to go if you wanna play around with fragrance because they're not so heavy that they're going to hopefully upset any of your castmates or anybody working by you. So I figure, you know, it's always a safe bet to have fragrance mists. Um, I got a Fireside Flurries. This reminds me of Bonfire Bash. This is Toasted Marshmallow, Pink Lavender, and Cashmere Woods. It's just really, really warm. It's my classic type of fragrance. Super warm, super sexy, sweet, love it. Um, Sugared Snickerdoodle. Smells like a cookie, delicious. Oh, the notes are Snickerdoodle Spice, Creamy Vanilla, and Sugared Musk. Um, I got into the night because I don't own this one. Um, I got, ras uh, the notes are, raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, mocha musk. So this one is more perfumey obviously because it's more complex. And yeah, like, if you like Juicy, La Vie est Belle, any of those really like feminine, um, kind of sexy, sweet fragrances, this is good. I do smell the amber, but in this context, it's like, uh, it reminds me of um, sweet, a little bit of brown sugar, whatever, that famous one. Um, whatever, it smells good. It's not like the whole fragrance is amber because y'all know if you watch my channel, like I'm not that into amber, but in this combination, it's really nice. And then two more body sprays. I got Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. They had these left over. I never had this one. The notes are Pumpkin Latte, Toasted Marshmallows, Creamy Sandalwood, and Praline Musk. I just love a sweet, sweet, sweet gourmand fragrance. Um, so I have that now. And I got Whipped Rose Latte. This really intrigued me. This is Crushed Rose Petals, Cocoa Flower, and Whipped Foam. Cozy up and embrace the comfort of spending time at home. Okay, COVID vibes. Yeah, this really reminds me. I have a fragrance called Rose Vanille, um, and there's a fragrance called Chocolate Greedy. And if it was just the lighter, more like everyday, way less loud version, it would be like, this would be the combo. So there's a little bit of that. It's not so cocoa-y that it smells like a chocolate bar, but there's that warmth, almost like cocoa butter. Yeah, like cocoa butter, and then the rose is really nice. It's not like a powdery, uh, mature rose. It's just fresh. It's clean. This is gonna be nice to wear like maybe after the gym or an afternoon. This is a morning, afternoon kind of brunch fragrance. Um, so I'm very happy with my purchases. And then for Isabella, I remember that she put on her Instagram story that she's really been into Legos and um, I think that's super cool. Like, I think that's so cool that a Gen Z person is like, a 17 year old is doing Legos. Like, I think that's great that it's not just something on the internet or like, you know, just like more makeup or more clothes or something. She was like, I want Legos for Christmas. Um, plus, like me, she has anxiety. So I feel like doing hands on things like that can really take you out of your head. Mine, I guess, is like going to the gym, going to a class or something. Cause I don't really feel like I'm very good with my hands, but she is really into Legos. So I looked up online while I was in the mall. I was like, I feel like there's a Lego store here. And there was, and I'm glad I went and I'm glad that I milked my mall opportunity because I really hope that I never, th that this was the last trip to the mall this year. It, it was crazy, but I went to the Lego store and I found her 
Like this was like the first thing that I saw when I walked in. I hope she doesn't have it, but if she does, I have a gift receipt. This is Friends Legos. And it's the central perk, like the coffee shop. And Bella loves, loves Friends. So when I saw this, I like walked by it, I looked at it, I was like, that would be perfect. But I was like, I really should give everything, I really should take a look around the store, but nothing else. This is just perfect. So I really, really hope that she doesn't have it. But again, if she does, there's a gift receipt. But yeah, she can put that together with her boyfriend. I know they like to do that together. And then they gave me something. What is this? Oh, it's a skiing Santa Claus. That's a bonus. So yeah, that's everything that I got at the mall. Super pleased, glad to have all of Isabella's gifts done. Um, now I am going to, I just put a load of laundry in. Am I hungry? I don't know. I think I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee. Um, tidy up a little bit. <gasps> oh, everyone, I'm so excited. I just got a package in the mail, which is my new winter parka, because I needed a long winter parka, because I'm gonna be in some different climates. Um, I am taking myself to Paris in the new year, in like a month. Um, if my passport comes back in time because I had to get it renewed Paris and then going to Stockholm to visit my best friend Bernadette Which is gonna be amazing, but it's also Stockholm in January. Am I insane? Maybe but that's what I do for my friends and then I have other things coming where I will need to be warm So let's open it together, but I also want to show you my new snow boots. So give me a second So I ordered um, snow boots and a parka on Black Friday so I got these from Sorel. How cute are these? Cause I've seen everybody with like the Joan of Arc or what is it, Arctic or something, Joan of Arctic um, boots and whatever, like they're okay. But I wanted something sporty. Like these are so cute, they're chunky. You just slip them on and they're stylish. I really like them. So these were like a hundred something for Black Friday and then this coat. I'm way too excited. Actually, no, this is how we should feel about our clothes. If it doesn't light you up, then don't get it. This is a coat from the brand Rudsack. I think they're a Canadian brand. Um, I had never heard of them before, but I love, love their designs. And I wanted a long parka because I get very cold. I also ideally wanted a parka that had sleeves with the thumb holes, which not everybody has. But I found it in this parka and I can't wait. And it was majorly discounted, otherwise I would not have purchased this. And it's stylish. I also wanted one that cinched around the waist because of my personal shape. I like a little bit of waist definition. This is the parka. I know it's boring, but it also has this like shiny detail. I don't think it's actually that boring. I think it's really cool. So there's, looks like there's a little buckle here. Okay, let me get this situated and then I'll get back to you, okay? Yeah! Look at this! Oh my God, it's great! I don't know the last time I wore a parka, so I feel poofy, but considering how long it is, considering how warm it is, I'm surprised that it's this flattering. Like I know it's still like poofy and kind of, but it's a coat, you know? And it has this thing, it's, it has this dicky inside. So like normal coats, right? This part would just be open, but it has this. So even my neck is fully covered. It has these, I just, I just am so happy and I'm glad I got a medium because I looked at the size chart and I'm a medium. So let me bring you over to the Miro. It's so cute. I love it. I think this is the best, you know, the best I could have gotten in terms of a parka. So there's that. I love it. And then I got my snow boots. I'm all ready. Yes, great success, great Black Friday purchase, something I actually needed and will actually use. Okay, here's the full look, ignore the jeans. Here are the boots, they're so cute and comfy. Ah, I'm almost falling. And then I got these earmuffs 
from a seller on Etsy. I love earmuffs, especially because I wear my hair in a ponytail a lot, especially if I happen to be going to a rehearsal or something, I like to wear my hair up and it's, it's not always conducive to wearing a hat, even though my mom did get me a beanie with a hole in it where your ponytail can come out the top, but yeah. Okay, I am about to leave for the show, just making sure I have everything. Um, I had one of my Trader Joe's salads. It was that farm fresh thing with couscous. It was fine, like the first couple of bites, I was like, mm, I don't like this. And then I ended up eating it, it was fine. Probably wouldn't buy it again. Had some of that keto key lime yogurt. It was good. It's cold, but I'm wearing sandals. My outfit is heinous today, and I don't care. Just did the show. That was our best audience by far ever. Amazing audience. Um, so much fun. We had a little bit of a snafu, I guess you could call it, in the middle of the show. We were on such a roll, and then, so the movie plays while we're doing the musical, and craziness in the parking lot. The movie plays while we are doing the show. It's like movie plus stage acting. It's really cool. Um, but it's all on like a program. It's all timed. And I guess the program crashed or something tonight. So we had to hold a little bit. And the audience was such a good sport, like collective sport about it. But yeah, that was unfortunate technical difficulties. But we got right back into it. They were super amazing at the end. We got a standing O, they were screaming, it was great. And I felt like it was a completely new show. Like, that is the effect that an electric audience has on me. It's like the first time I've done the show. Because you're reminded that there are like living people there and what you're doing affects them. That's what I live for. I live for the applause, applause, applause. Truly though, like, that was a great night of work. Tomorrow we have two shows, and the day after that we have two shows. So I need to go home, stop talking, and get some rest. So I am going to cut this vlog now so that I can rest my voice. I may or may not go to a yoga meditation journaling sort of class tomorrow, 90 minutes. We'll see, because I'm prioritizing sleep. Thank you for being here with me. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I will catch you in my next Vlogmas video. Love you guys. Mwah! Bye guys.